Flame possessed sacred art. Extra flame. Hey, flame here, and welcome back to another drawing episode video. I don't know what to call it. It's just me drawing. Today we have a uh, a female character. <gasps> female character, you say? Yes. Uh, female characters are kind of weird for me. I don't know. Just the anatomy is kind of different. You have to make them females kind of more I don't know not very angular if that makes sense kind of roundish which is weird I don't know well with my style it is kind of weird but other than that not really as you can see I am drawing over the uh, I prefer to draw on pencil than on the then on my drawing pad first I don't know why I just like drawing with the I just like drawing with a pencil I feel like it's easier for me to use. I'm more comfortable with it, obviously. I won't have a drawing pad for like three years or so. So it's, it's sick in nature. It's more comfortable. It's easier for me to do anatomy and stuff. So yeah. So a lot of these is going to be me drawing over a lot of my physical drawings, if you don't mind. And yeah, what have I what I've been doing lately? Nothing. The last week or so has been... Very hectic. Why? Just school. Just school, you know? Very tired. Very sleep deprived. I think that's the correct word. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. Been sleeping late. Waking up somewhat early. Yep. Just I have a lot on my mind. Breakfast on my mind. Yeah. Just creating the flame verse. I think I mentioned that in my last drum video. Creating the flame verse. Pretty much doing what, just trying to make it somewhat able each comic series could inter intertwine, so it could be perfect. Kind of like think of Marvel, Marvel and Cinematic. I just want them to intertwine. Just want them to like fit in with each other. So yes, that took a while to do. And then I'm just writing. Yes, and also write. Uh, also thinking of making a game, using my characters. You know, that's like kind of the next step I want to do. For those wondering, uh, I was in computer science before, but uh, I'm not long, long, no longer because I don't know. I got bored. The reason I was in computer science was so I could learn how to make games. Yeah, I mean, it would have been wiser to go into game design, but there was no game design where I live. I didn't want to go to. I had to move for the whole process. A lot of money goes into that, and yeah. So now. Hopefully, I can, you know, make friends, find a team later on so we could make a game. Anyways, yes. <laughs> I have so much I want to do. Make games, write comics. I'm so busy. Then there's this. Then there's the main channel, which I haven't worked on in a while because I was writing another script that I didn't like. So I'm back to square one. I've, I don't know. It's just like my writing process is not there. Is that funny? It doesn't it doesn't seem funny or entertaining my scripts when it for the main channel. So I apologize if you're looking for those. It's been six months since the last of one the letter there was that one update ish video a month ago. So I apologize. And yeah, this drawing I know it doesn't get views. It's not really much views. It's just for me to, you know, just draw and rant. It helps me. I don't know, I feel like it helps me mentally because if you guys do not know, I live alone. I moved, I moved out in July, so I've been living alone for the past two months, two and a half, I don't know, yeah, so, it's been fun, three, getting close to three, it's been fun, and the only time when I interact with people is when I go to school, and when I'm not in school, I'm alone at home, and even the weekends, I'm alone, I got nothing to do. The friends I have in, co in university or uni, uh, I don't know. Sometimes they feel like we're just friends on campus and not really outside. We made plans to hang out two weeks from now, so hopefully we can do that. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled. But other than that, it just it feels nice just to talk, not about a certain video I'm reacting to, reacting to. You know, I hope that makes understanding. It's just more for just for me, so I don't feel lonely. So I apologize that you have to deal with us. <laughs> What I've been doing, uh, I think I said writing, uh, creating basic scripts, 
uh, writing, tried to write scripts for the main channel, writing comics, planning, finish the flame verse, planning video games. Oh, uh, what kind of video game I want to do? Well, I wanted to do like a fighting game of my comic characters, a 3v3 style. Think of King of Fighters or, um, what's another 3v3? Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Think of that. I grew up with those, with those two specifically. King of Fighters 98, I think. It was either 97 or 98. And, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I grew up with those games. The arcade versions, not the console versions. Arcade came the little... Yes. I grew up with those. There was so much fun, and I want to make my own. So, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. When are those games going to drop? I don't know. When are the comics are going to drop? I don't know. If you're an artist watching this, please let me, please hit me up. I want to publish. Because I could do it. I could try to, like, writer, artist, and all. I could try to do all that, but it's going to take so much effort, and the process is going to take so much longer than I want it to be. I think it's just easier to have artists, people, artists, acquaintances, artists, friends to help me along with the process because I just really want this to become a reality. So if you're an artist or know people that draw, let them know. I uh, we could work on something. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a uni student, so I got no money. So hopefully, you know, the very when we start off, this is going to be a slow process. It's just base just sure will hopefully you know it blows up and if it does bam we got work to do but other than that i really can't promise anything just i will be the best manager that i can be <laughs> not really manager but co team member i guess i don't know so anyways who are we drawing today we are drawing well her name is well her name is gonna appear later but i don't care i'm gonna say now her name is serena suki or serena Yes, and people, and I know you want that. Hmm, this kind of looks a, like a little familiar. Why? Because she's based off of Serena from Pokemon X, Y, and Z. Set that Z. Yes, because she's my favorite Poke Girl. And you know what? Let's screw it. I'm gonna make. And she is the female lead in Last Hope. If you guys, remember, if you guys watched the first one with Orion. From the same series, so Ryan's the main pro tag, the main male. Serena's the main female. Yes. Anything special about this character? Other than that, she looks like Serena. Um, she's rich. She's rich. She's just gonna be the sugar mama of the group. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think I mentioned Orion was 15. I'm pretty sure I think I mentioned that. And Serena is 16. But they're in the same year, same grade. She just going off of the U.S. school systems. So if you're born in December, you're usually held back and you have to wait for the next year. That's what happened to her. She's born in December, Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Eve, I'm sorry, on the 24th. 24th is Christmas for Mexicans. I don't care. Let's get this part one and part two. Christmas is both days. I know people are like, but it's the 24th. It's Christmas Eve. No, it's Christmas. Ah, I dropped my pen. I'm sorry. So yes, her birthday is on December 24th, and it's gonna be and her birthday is gonna play an important part in the story. I'm not gonna say anything other than that. So yes, she's rich, and she likes fashion designing because her parents are co-founders of a fashion uh, fashion company. So yes, both of her parents, mom and dad, are are fashion artists, fashion designers, and because of that, she wants to do it herself too. But there's a problem. She is blind. She was born blind. She wasn't. She, she, she didn't have sight. Then lost it later. She was born blind. So she's been blind her whole life. And she hates being treated like she can't do anything. She wants to prove that she can do stuff without being blind. So that's why, you know, being a fashion designer is kind of, you need sight. But she doesn't care. She still manages to do it on her own. And I kind of gave her, like, the ability to, like, she could tell distance, size, with just with using her hands. For example, if you're trying to get your arm length, you know, she grabs your shoulder to your wrist. Bam! She knows the, the distance from that, and she could create the arm length of a long sleeve sweater, jacket, shirt, you know, long, yeah, etc. Right? Same thing with legs, same thing with, you know, neck. She has, I gave her that power, right? Because, you know, she needs... I want it to be an amazing fashion, you know, break boundaries. 
And it's funny enough that at first she wasn't going to be the female lead. Another character was going to be a female lead. And she wasn't even in the original Last Hope story. So yeah, interesting fact. Yeah, the only reason she became a character and she just became an important female lead is because of Avatar. I was watching Avatar during the COVID, during the pandemic. Uh, when it came to Netflix, Toph came. And you know what? I like Toph's attitude about, yes, I'm blind, but I can still kick ass. So you know what? I don't make a blind person who can kick ass, but like obviously not physically, but in a different way. So there you go. Interesting that for me, I'm the type of person that gets a lot of stuff ideas from watching, hearing, listening, hearing and listening. The same thing. What am I supposed to? I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I could do that. It's the same thing. I created a character who's deaf just solely the reason because I watched Silent Voice. And like, I love that movie. It's such a good movie. Such a good film. And because of that, I wanted to create my own deaf character. And eventually, I'm going to draw her and she's going to come out. I don't know what number she is in the order. I think she's number five. I think. Or four. I don't remember. I think she's four, actually. So, she's coming up close. So, yes. She's rich. Serena is rich, uh, blind, and because of that, her parents kind of worry. Her parents are off in Japan. She's in the U.S. She's in California. That's where the story takes place in, in Cali. And uh, she has butlers, two butlers, a male butler and a female butler. The male butler is more of the one that takes care of her mostly. <laughs> and don't worry, the butlers are going to appear later. And you'll be like, hmm, what references are they? <laughs> you'll find out why later. So, yes, her butler is very overprotective. The milk butler is. And she doesn't like that. Like, let me do what I want. And like, no, your father told me I got to take care of you because you got expelled. She got expelled from her last school. So that's why she goes into the she was in a private school. She got expelled. She got into a fight because right? she was being picked on because, like, oh, look at her being blind. She doesn't care about school. Why is she in this private academy? She doesn't care about academics. So they tell her, like, you know, bullying, she's rich, blind. They tackle all that, and she's like, I don't care. And she just, pachow, punches, and she got expelled, and she goes into a school with Orion. Bam, that's how they meet. They're both both of them are new students at the same time, and that's how they got along. She's also an honor student, so she's smart. She's not going to be like, my bullet does everything for me. No, she is smart. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, she kicks ass on her own, her, her own way. <laughs> And I like that. And what else can I say? I don't know. Hmm. I really didn't think of it. Anyways. So, yeah. If you're an artist, please. I want to team up. I want to make my dreams a reality. I want to dominate the comics. The web comics genre. <laughs> so, yeah. Fun fact. I think that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say much. I might say some stuff a little bit later. But I don't know. How are you guys doing? You know, have you guys, you know, touch your t elbows, touch your toes, uh, conquer the world? I don't know. <laughs> what have I been watching? Um, oh, the Blue Lock came out. I'm excited. I'll re I read the manga. I love it. What's another one? Uh, Call of the Night ended, sadly. I was enjoying it. The theme and the OP and ending slaps. Oh, Spike's family is back. Let's go. And there's nothing really interesting going on. Yeah. I'm almost done with school. That doesn't seem interesting. And if you have any other... If you have questions, if you, you would like to ask me for the next drawing time, leave it in the comics. Com comics. Comments. Because I would love to, you know, interact more. I feel like it's just been a one-sided kind of quote-unquote relationship. It's just weird I'm saying relationship, but that's the best way I could describe it. I want to interact. I want to be. I am. I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm-hmm. I need a roommate. <laughs> I think that's the best way to cure my loneliness. Find a roommate. Have someone to talk to. Or just have friends that actually want to hang out. Uh, that's just my pro personal problem. Anyways. So, yes. Back to the main channel. Uh, uh, yes, I did scrap another idea, but I think I have a new idea that I could, f I could make it funny, 
And and it's about, you know, the pros and cons of leaving by, by yourself. I think that could be an interesting video I could do. And it's something I could do very quickly, too. Like, hi So, yeah. I'm thinking about that. And if you guys want to somehow, like, down the road, like, what are the scrap ideas you had? I would like to hear them. I could probably do them. Make them very short. Yeah. I think that could be a nice idea, a nice touch. So, anyways, these buttons are kind of important to the story because there's a red, there's a peach. I think that's peach. There's a black, there's a pink. Right now, I was adding purple. But it was trying to find the right shade. And the last one is brown. And I could tell, some of you might already know, hmm, the red one is Orion. The peach is her. And the last four colors, you might see later. I mean, you are definitely going to see the the black and pink one later on. Like, immediately. Very close. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, my God. I forgot about that. So weird. So, yes. That's a nice way to say it. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. You know what? I don't know how much ice cream I've ate. I've ate eaten during the summer. I ate, like, probably over 20 tubs of those great value ones. The small ones are like that. Like 250, 224, whatever. In US dollars. Probably 20. I won like either once a week or two of those in a week. I know. I have a problem. I have an ice cream problem. I apologize. <laughs> oh, wow. I also, I'm almost done with Persona 4 Golden. So if, if you w would like me to do a video about that on the main channel, please tell me. Because I would love to talk about it. It's such a good game. Is it better than P P5? No. P5 is still the best. The pinnacle peak of Persona. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> uh, I hate my friends when I'm like... Me and my friends are always divided. I'm P5. Two of my friends are P4. One of them is P3. And we're all like... I'm the best because it's rare. I'm the best because it's the music. I'm like, objection. P5 has the better music, which is true. P5 also has the better cast, the better pers the main person. Our sen is so dope. Yes. Also, I bought a PS5 like a month ago. I still haven't touched it. But that's how busy I am. I don't have time to play games. I bought Persona 4 Golden a year ago. Over a year ago. And I'm still not done with it because I'm, I'm taking my time. Yes. I really can't binge play games anymore. F for me, like after three hours, I'm like, mm, okay, I'm bored. That's just me now. Anyways, yeah. I gotta play Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. I have it. I bought it. On sale, too. I'm excited. So, yes. As you can see, you know, I'm trying to work on the blind uh, the, the blind design. Because, you know, for Toph, they kind of have it, like, grayed out with a white spot. And for me, like, I kind of didn't want to, like, exactly copy it. So, I was trying to do, like, my own version. And that's how I came up with. It does look weird. A little weird. A little different. But I kind of like it because it's a little different. You know, for me, I didn't want her to be those, uh, not, why did I say those? I apologize. I didn't want her to be, uh, have her eyes closed the whole time or, sl or slightly open. I kind of want her to have, like, top, exactly like top. Eyes open, clearly show that she's blind, but she still charges head on. Headstrong! So, yes. I can't wait for, you know, for the comics, because you guys are going to love these characters so much. Because I love them. <laughs> so, yes. If you're an artist, please. Please. I want to work with you. Let's make a, let's make it one together. Post it on web too. <laughs> We're going to tackle. Change the game. And then once again, I'm doing the Persona 5 font style. Because I love P5. P5 is the best game ever created. I feel like that's where my downfall in video games went. Because once I beat in P5, games afterwards just became... I feel it feels, I feel empty. You know? I play, the games I played after that... It no longer feels fun. For example, Smash Bros. I love Smash. You know, Brawl was my favorite. Wii U was still good. Ultimate, amazing. But... I just... Every time when I... I, I no longer have that same feeling anymore. It's not because I grew out of it. I still play Pokemon. It's not a game I'm gonna grow out, of, go grow out of. I still play it. I'm excited for Gen 9. Scarlet Violet. Team Scarlet. Team Milf. Team Mama Sara. So, yeah. 
<laughs> you guys know my taste already. <laughs> I'm so dumb. So, yes. Anyways, that's done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay? Make sure to comment down if you're uh, for any questions further down. And also, please, please, if you're an artist, you would like to work together, hit me up. Twitter. My Twitter handle is in this description. It's on the my front page, too. Just... I want to work. I want this to become a reality. Wake up to reality. <laughs> so, yes. I'm sorry I really didn't have much to talk to about this time. I'm just doing a quick, a quick, you know, because obviously I didn't, ha didn't get any questions from the last one. So, hopefully I get questions for this one. Anyways, see you guys in the, at the next one. Bye-bye.